Hello everybody and welcome to the Universal Observations channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to get started in astrophotography or how I got started in astrophotography. Now I've been a photographer for uh, over 30 years doing black and white film, my own dark room, etc. And um, here you can see I have a Canon uh, Rebel XTI and I used this. I had this idea one day to go out uh, and, and just see what I could see. I could see some stars. Did a little bit of research online and found out that the Orion Nebula was something that you could probably get a good picture of. So uh, I mounted this camera with a uh, 24 to 200 millimeter lens on it uh, in my sunroom. And uh, at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, I decided to capture some images. Well, this is about the best single frame image, single sub that I could get. And uh, with a little bit of help from Deep, St Deep Sky Stacker, uh, I was able to turn it into this, which I thought I was really happy with. I was pretty impressed with. Uh, but with that length of lens, I was starting to get some uh, star trails with, with any length of time. So I put my 50 millimeter lens on and uh, see what I could see, uh, see what I could capture. And uh, well, as you would expect, uh, I got a lot of stars, but uh, <laughs> the Orion Nebula didn't really come through. I could zoom in and crop quite a bit. So uh, then I decided to go all in and get the uh, Ioptron Skyguider Pro. Uh, in order to mount this on my camera tripod, I had to move the little insert uh, so that I could mount it on my quarter inch uh, tripod here. Here you can see my little tiny tripod uh, with the Alt-As base for the Ioptron Skyguider. Uh, and then here uh, I'll put the Skyguider uh, Pro on there. And then uh, the whole um, bracket with the counterweight and then eventually I put my camera on there, and that was really about all that uh, that uh, tripod could handle. In fact, I was a little bit scared that it was going to uh, drop on the on the patio, and um, uh, I ended up deciding to go with a little bit beefier tripod. This one's from Pro Am USA. It's actually meant for video uh, cameras, so it can hold up to sixty pounds. And uh, I really thought this would do the trick. So once again, I had to move the uh, insert so that it would go on the 3 8 inch uh, ball head of that uh, tripod. And uh, once I did that, uh, once I pulled that out, then it was able to mount it on. But then there's a really neat feature on that uh, head. Uh, it, it actually, you can unscrew that head and I could adjust this, uh, set that up for level and uh, here you're going to see that bubble level. I could set that up and rotate that around and then tighten that down. And uh, uh, it's going to be in a really nice spot so I didn't have to move everything tripod wise. So once I got that uh, uh, kind of locked into place, then I was able to put the Skyguider Pro on top of that and uh, everything with the counterweights on there. And then I decided I might as well make the investment and I got a Canon 6D because of the uh, full frame and more light. I also at the same time bought a 75 to 300 millimeter lens. I found a really good deal. Unfortunately, that lens is not very good uh, at astrophotography. So I jumped in and bought the William Optics um, uh, Xenostar 61 and the flat uh, adjustable flattener. And here you can see that uh, in order to put that flattener on, uh, basically you... Uh, just unscrew the roto lock uh, uh, that's the adapter for the uh, inch and a quarter inch uh, eyepieces or diagonal and uh, then you put that flattener on and um, I'm trying to do this with one hand while I'm holding the camera in the driveway so uh, you can see here again it's the adjustable flat 61 there's not a lot of information out there that I found uh, watch my other uh, video uh, to see a little bit more about uh, that flattener uh, this one's adjustable, so you can uh, set the back focus on there. Uh, but again, that just screws on in place of that Rotolock ad uh, adapter. And uh, here you can see once I get that uh, uh, tightened to some degree, uh, there's this additional screw on here, this thumb screw. And once I get that on there, you can see that thumb screw allows you to then rotate so that it, once you get your camera on there, you can put it in the right orientation and then lock that screw back down. Um, so then you get that uh, uh, focus there, or back focus at distance. So I'm going to take the lens cap off of this. I guess it's a, a lens, not really a lens cap, a cap of some sort. Take that off of there and put the T adapter on. Now, I, I did something that I'm going to mention in another video upcoming here. Uh, I actually bought a filter and put the 
a CLS filter right on the adapter here. And now the brand that you see on that uh, filter is not actually the glass that's in there. Uh, but again, I'll describe that in another video. That's kind of a hack that I did. But I put the T adapter on and um, then as you'll see here in a second, uh, kind of oriented that uh, so I knew where that camera was going to uh, go ahead and line up with that arrow. And then I'll put my camera on. And then um, once I get the camera on here, and this again, sorry, <laughs> uh, trying to do this with one hand, you can see that it's a little bit off uh, alignment there of what I consider level. Uh, so then I just uh, loosen that screw up. That allows me to rotate that, and uh, then I tighten that screw back down, and that gives me uh, uh, position there. But this was first light with this telescope, and I got the Pleiades in there, and with a little bit of deep sky stacker, and it was really hard to align, so I decided to get a hot shoe uh, red dot finder and put that on, and you can see this is kind of what it looks like. Um, the scope ends up being behind there in the next shot where you look down and you can see the red dot through there. Now, hopefully you can see that on the red dot finder. You can see the actual red dot through there. I tried to line up. The scope is on there. You can't see it behind the camera, and that helps me line up. And uh, I was able to get shots like this uh, from a Bortle Class 6 uh, of Orion and uh, uh, some other ones that you'll see up and coming. So uh, with that, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching the channel. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more stuff like this. Let us know in the comments. Uh, what you're interested in seeing. I'm interested in putting out stuff that you're interested in seeing. And uh, with that, uh, have a great day. Thanks.